Hey guys, what's up? I just finished the review. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. We were in the middle of a move. Thank you for your patience. And thank you to everybody who submitted a community poster design. This plate is giving us 30% off. Actually, 20% if you get one poster, 30% if you get two to three, and 35% and the most they've ever done if you get four or more. And they're running it for the longest amount of time they've ever done, for five days. And this is because we're still waiting on approvals uh, for our posters uh, to go up and so if you don't see our posters already up go find a poster that you like already on the site or one of our previous ones and get it for like 30% off it is their deepest discount I'll be putting out a video on Friday that includes all of the community submitted posters over a hundred of them so wait for that if you wanted to get one of the community posters but I do want to admit that we have five winners there were so many good artworks. Uh, I'm gonna save four of them for you later, but I'm gonna show you the grand prize winner, meaning the runner-ups will also get a prize. But the grand prize winner, here it is. It's from Nader Clue. Oh yeah, super badass. Thank you so much for participating in the second annual community poster contest. That's it for me, guys. I hope you really enjoy the review. And yes, I'll see you guys next time. Check it out. Lord Shimura. Chungus Khan. What do you want? My men tell me your nephew stalks them in the night. He stabs them in the back. He steals supplies like a thief. <gasps> Jin would never do that! He is a samurai! Oh, he's abandoned the ways of a samurai. Lies! All of it! Lies! No, I, th I think you're missing the point. I, I think he's nuts. Like, he, he released all of the bears on our ships and had the bears eat all of my men. He weaponized your murder hornets. Murder hornets! Uh... What? We found a dude with just charred feet. There was just a burnt ground. I think he put bombs on him while he was sleeping. It doesn't make any damn sense. We found this in a farm animal. Inside of a farm animal. This is all we found of him. I like this guy. The worst was we found a fort with every man stabbed in the butt. And I don't mean like in the cheek mean. I mean like in the butt. And that's the only place they were stabbed. He's gone nuts. Oh my god. I don't know the guy. Ghost of Tsushima is a samurai epic open world masterpiece from Sucker Punch and a game that marks the end of an era and serves as a perfect finale to the PlayStation 4 generation. It is an incredible title to go out on and it helps set a new standard for Sony exclusives. In my opinion, it's easily in the company of the best mega AAA open world games like stuff from Rockstar. This game, it is beautiful, it's compelling, it's got great characters, there is fantastic combat mechanics, and it allows you to approach things how you want. And it does all of this with breathtakingly beautiful visuals. It's basically Assassin's Creed, but better in Japan and without all the bullshit microtransactions. So of course I'm gonna fall in love with this game. My blade thirsts for blood. Virtue and honor guide me. Vengeance will be mine.
There once was a ninja from Japan who kills mongos as fast as he can. He gives them swift kicks right onto their dicks and forces them right out of his land. There is so much care, love, and attention to detail that even those in Japan have praised it. Earning its perfect rating score in Famatsu, the third ever Western game to do so. This is um, a game of death. Yes. Whoa, this guy thinks he's fucking sweet. What do you mean, thinks he's sweet? Just... I think that guy deserves more than he thinks he's sweet. He just lit his sword on fire and then barbecued your ass. The game has a fine balance between taking inspiration from actual history, the first Mongol invasion of Japan, and creating a whole new fictional tale that's fun for players to partake in. It tells the story of Jin Sakai. <laughs> Focus, Sakai. I'm getting used to the grip. Did he just call me Suck Guy? <laughs> suck Guy? You suck! You're a <laughs> Suck Guy! <laughs> Motherfucker, you suck... <laughs> guy? Head of Clan Sakai and a samurai warrior in late 13th century Japan, what was known as the Kamakura period where samurai reigned as the leaders of the land. Then these samurai must now defend their island of Tsushima from a Mongol invasion led by the merciless Koton Khan, I think it is. And at first, Jin, alongside his uncle, employs the honorable tactics of the samurai. Direct battle in the open, right? And this game lets you do that. They, they get this beach charge at the beginning. It's amazing. Get ready! Look, so she, oh fuck! Let's do it! Ah! <laughs> this is what I was born for! Do suicide and do battle! To Valhalla! Oh wait, that's the wrong no, game! To the... <laughs> Die! Motherfuckers! Fuck you! And there's even a mechanic where you can call out your enemies and, and standoffs and kill multiple enemies at once. Oh, there you go. This is gonna be a good one. Yeah, because he let it go through early. Ow! Oh. If you could do it right. If not, it sucks almost all your health out if you miss and it leaves you vulnerable. Send your best warrior. All four of them. Gonna be you, Joe. Oh, God! You need to tell him next time. Send your weakest word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy was too good. <laughs> Beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Fuck you, Joe! <laughs> But I love this playstyle. It's my preference. And but soon in the game, you are just overwhelmed, and you start to engage in less than honorable tactics, the ways of the ghost, or what I like to call dirty ninja bullshit. And this, this is how other Joe loved to play. Oh, what? Man, that's, that's Shit. <laughs> Better. Wash. Shit. Do you want this like pre chewed? Yeah. Yes. Slaughter, 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 slaughter. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god! That was fucking amazing! <laughs> so it's stealth versus open combat, and eventually it's these two combat philosophies that come to head in the story what? itself. Never. The old ways versus the new ways. Ninja or samurai. Who will win this duel? What? The time of the samurai is over! How dare you show yourself here, Straw Hat Joe! Flute guy, play your music! This is about to get dirty. You, sir! You lack honor!
Your tactics no longer work. You sneak up behind people to stab them in the back. You slink around and steal people's things without their permission. Your mother's rice is as hard as my penis. That's it, Joe. This ends here. I'm sorry it had to be this way, my friend. But today, you die. Holy shit. Let's take a look at that in instant replay. Honestly though, the best way to go is to just use a bit of both. And that's, that's frankly, that is why this game is so damn fun. And while Red Dead Redemption may have a slightly better story or more memorable characters, what Ghost has, even over Red Dead, is its varied and engaging combat. There are four different stances, each tailored to defeating certain uh, other combat styles, like your enemies with shields, spearmen, big dudes, or sword guys. And in addition, you've got different legendary moves that you can learn by going on these fun side quests that you learn about from listening to the people of this world. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was oh, first cool. settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. Whoa. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction. Moving too quick. These things give you like these impressive little side distractions where you must defeat like a boss and of course learn to unlock the ability itself. Use a ghost. There you go. Heavenly Man. strike! Bitch! Yourself like a pee pee. That's what he said. <laughs> you said pee pee. He said you're soft oh. like pee pee. <laughs> Farewell, Ronin. It all helps to make this universe feel alive. Ronin versus Samurai. Bow to him. No. Yeah, he was a good opponent in terms of how many times it killed me. It's one of the better characters you've had. I will play a song for you. The song of my peoples. And as with any good open world title, in addition to the main story of defeating the Mongols, the world is just filled with content. Uh, it's got side missions, helping each of your companions and friends out while learning more about their backstory and various fun missions. Uh, exploration is organic, it's rewarding. And there are these baths littered, these hot springs littered throughout the countryside that you bathe in, you can raise your health. You now may want to join me for this. <laughs> he did it. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> oh yeah, Yuna. You know what you like. You like what you see? Mm -hmm. Yuna! He said, he, said the thing. he said the thing. That's all I wanted to see. He, he won't stop the, saying it, so it's like, all right. He man. said the thing. There are these bamboo strikes that remind me of Mortal Kombat. Damn it! <laughs> Too slow, you slow. Got it. Nice. Uh, oh, god damn it! Your third you fucking try? try. Like I did, like a oops. <laughs> that last one's filled with concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! There are 
are these shrines that foxes lead you to to help you unlock more abilities. And if you bow at a certain uh, number of them, these little animations can sometimes surprise you. Whoa! I did it! Cool! See? I am the Lord of Dragonflies! He brought forth a plague of insects. <laughs> Now they will follow me, my pretty. Make them attack the boars. Nope. Ow! <laughs> Help me, dragonfly! Help me, dragonfly! <laughs> ah! I think the dragonflies left you because the rain's coming. <laughs> fuck this, we're gonna get wet. Fuck this guy. Get sucks. out of here, boys. <laughs> You can whip out your flute and play a tune, which can shape the weather around you. Sometimes the foxes stick around after you pray at the shrine. Is that your sad? I didn't get the pet. Yeah. <laughs> now no one gets to play. All no right, one gets right. to play now. <laughs> Hell, you can even write haikus and dirty limericks like Joe does. You know, not very good ones, but at least you can choose and tailor them according to what you think is best. The winter snow falls. Sudden flash of silver steel. Red stains the pure I am a warrior they call the ghost. I live in a castle by the coast. I hide in tall grass to stab men in their ass. That's the place I like to stab most. Get out of here, you dishonorable, disgusting ninja! Drawing pornography in my dojo! Get out! Get out! Oh my god, customize, authentic looking armor, colors, pieces, masks, different katanas, swords, bow and arrows, and numerous side weapons that you utilize. It gives you so much utility and power, like the kunais. Fuck, I already fucked it up. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> oh yeah. Die! The smoke bombs. Oh shit, you can fucking murder them in, in the smoke. And goddamn combat is just so much fun here, and we loved every second of it. And all this stuff is upgradable, and the game constantly evolves its combat nicely throughout, making you more and more powerful throughout the experience, giving you more ability points until you unlock a ghost mode, like halfway into the game, which turns the screen red with the blood of your enemies. Fuck is this? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh! Yes! Yes! You can even play in Kurosawa mode. But honestly, he's a legendary director, by the way. But honestly, it's a crime to deprive yourself of all these beautiful colors and, and brightness that this game has. But it is cool as hell to play on once because it wears its inspirations on its sleeves. I highly recommend watching any of this legendary director's movies. My personal recommendation would be Ran, this sprawling epic with siege battles and massive armies fighting in Japan. I know there's more personal samurai stories, but I really like the massive combat of that one. Follow Lord Shimura to victory! Yeah. 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 <laughs> but look, any
Anyway, so what I'm saying is the combat in this game is so good. You got blocks, rewarding parry, strikes, killing wounded enemies to refill your meter and continue the flow of combat. And at the end of it all, little details like manually wiping your blade clean of blood, you know, or swiping down to bow in respect to your opponent, your fallen enemy. Angry Joe Samurai. Complete. That is how it's done. All of it makes it feel very authentically samurai, you know? With just literally nothing left behind. The immersion here is fucking top notch, and that's why everybody is talking about it. Man, you know, I, I, I don't do stealth, Joe. I'm gonna fail at this game. Didn't take into battle. You murder my I'm gonna save him! Don't let anyone escape. What the fuck you doing, motherfucker? You trying to fucking kill my people? I'll kill you! I'll kill your people! Your people dead! Hurt people. <laughs> Wipe yourself off. You're dead. Thank you, my lord. All of these elements combine to make a very thematic play experience. One that doesn't sort of overly clutter your screen. You're, you're even elegantly shown where to go with just the wind, leaves blowing. You can swipe with the touchpad to get this guiding wind mechanic to blow where you need to go. In fact, there may be a little too much blowing going on in the game. I will, I will research. I will Avenger, but what is that gift? This is a guy who there is too much shit being kicked up all the fucking time. I get it, Sonny. I get it. You have good it's particle full. effects. What about the For guy the with love the of God, I can't he even see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she should do in one of our parodies. It looks beautiful at Go first. Go to the right. And then. <laughs> Turn to the right. Like, debris is everywhere in this world, and you get a little excessive sometimes. It's still great. <laughs> Hell, you even get to chase down friendly foxes and you're praying at these shrines. And yes, you do get to pet the fox, finally. Uh, oh, you can pet him, you can pet him. Where? Right in front, front of, you. of you. Behind you. Now, yeah, right there. Pet <gasps> it. You can pet the fox. Doggy. I mean, foxy. Yay. Gonna bite you. Finally. Ribbies. Bite you. Yeah. The animal life is great in this game. It's just awesome to follow golden birds to secrets and, and see bears and shit. It's crazy. What are you doing? I have to get pre I have to get Damn. help. <laughs> I can't heavenly strike him. What are you doing? You know what, I'll let... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all did it, not me. And the game is just as beautiful sound-wise as it is in the visuals. The soundtrack absolutely perfect. It sets the scenes beautifully. And just like the epic Sony reveal you remember with the flute guy, you can pretend to be flute guy. There's all 
also an option for Japanese voiceovers, which I plan to go back and use on my second playthrough. On the new lethal mode that they just released that makes enemies even harder. It's just great shit. Now, it's not completely without its faults, guys. It's got some of the most hilarious bugs and glitches. <laughs> what was that? Do it again, do it again. Oh, no. I was gonna be fucking pissed. You're stuck in a wall. <laughs> fucking stuck, you get us stuck now. Only you do. <laughs> You know what? Give me this controller before this mission is over. Uh-oh. What? What is uh-oh? That guy. He was looking in the wrong direction. Oh, I thought you meant... Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Sir? That looks so happy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Take my arrow. That's a new uh, twist on the um, Wee Man. It's a, it's a, that's a shit. That is another Wee Man. That's Since eight, and w me and Joe, enough. To we got to go set yours. up some computer you, desks Lord. that we bought I hope you punish that at monster. the new place. <laughs> the guy's in the cutscene. <laughs> I miss him. You're still right there. Wee Wee man. Wee man. Hey, high five. Sit on his hey, lap. Hey, high five. You sit, what you on? doing there, buddy? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you mess with the wrong oh. person, Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe will freeze you. He will take your soul, <laughs> rip it right out your body. <laughs> what are you going to do, Mongolian? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I ain't never seen this motherfucker whoa. jump. Whoa, whoa. Is he, Is he dead? Is he dead? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I fucked him up. Jesus. God. Damn, I fucked this ass. This guy's on a trampoline. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> oh, you dead. <laughs> I wonder. I'm just watching oh. that guy. Yes! 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 <laughs> he's still bouncing. His dead body even is bouncing. Even his death. He's resurrecting and dying. <laughs> over, over and over. He's doing push-ups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From the afterlife, Joe. Man's gonna get swole. And while Jin himself isn't the most interesting person, unfortunately, he does at least have a good supporting cast. Though some of the character motivations here seem suspect, a little nonsensical, and maybe the game is a little too serious at times. I just wish there was a tad more comedy or, or, or relaxing moments or just or maybe some of the supernatural stuff. That stuff is there but it's amazing and I wish there was more of it. There's also a lack of lock-on and that can be really frustrating when you're supposed to use certain stances on certain guys. I would have liked to have a little bit more easy direct selection method but it still kind of ends up working well in the free flow of combat once you get used to it but it is a little frustrating uh, initially. I try what? He's on the what cliff. What the fuck with the targeting? He's on the cliff. <laughs> I'm gonna die. That's, that was dumb as fuck. Dumb that as fuck. Is how El Kukui was murdered. And honestly, I do wish we had a little bit more control over what of those two ninja vs. samurai combat philosophies we would do. Uh, not only in the gameplay, but in the cutscenes. There are times where I was doing shit in the cutscenes, I was like, no, I didn't play that way. I played the honorable way, uncle. No, I, I didn't do that. But you know, it forces you to go down a path. And, and it could have maybe used branching paths with these two philosophies, allowing you to actually choose one. That would have been cool. Uh, you know, there was a few times where it forced you to do things 
in a particular way, but I think most of that was in service of a tutorial or sort of teaching you how to do something. And thankfully, it doesn't restrict you the entire way. It does open up. So, um, oh, there is a bit of tiny filler and repetition that could have used up some varying a little bit more, especially in the side quests. They aren't, say, as good as like and as extensive as the side quests in The Witcher 3, but Guys, with everything else so well put together, you can't help but want to 100% the game, which is what I want to do. Uh, the artistry, the supreme attention to detail make this one of the best thematic games of this generation, and it's a perfect end cap to the PS4 era. So, the final rating for Ghost of Tsushima is a 9 out of 10 from me. It's, it's probably an 8, but at, just how it executes things so perfectly and, and gets things right and is constantly updating with more things, more modes, more difficulty levers, I, levels, I hope this continues. I just love the theme, right? The, the period. And, and it, Ghost literally takes the elements, the best elements of open world games, adds in sucker punches, attention to detail, and it just makes for an amazing final piece for us all to enjoy. Honor, duty, family, legacy, all of it is handled exceptionally well here, and I highly recommend you play this 30 plus hour adventure if you haven't yet. Yes, it starts slow, but by the midpoint and that ending, it's a perfect ending. I had some of the most fun that I've had in an open world game since Red Dead Redemption 2. I really hope that we do get a sequel and that it, you know, it, and in fact, it, it is one of the fastest selling new IPs and one of Sony's best exclusives. So I feel like we might maybe continue in Jin's story, maybe have a different character on a different island. I don't know, fighting the Shogun or defending the Shogun. Historically, there was a second Mongol invasion, but whatever may come, as long as it's done anywhere near as beautifully as it was in this game, it's gonna be a real treat. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Get some juice. He's down for the count, guys. <laughs> I saw it go straight to his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. How are you feeling? <laughs> All right. That's enough. <laughs>